What is up? Good morning, everybody. We've had a couple days off. I've missed you, Steve Isaac. I've, I've missed you too, Mike. It's, it's been like 48 hours, buddy. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> We're back. We're this back. is the longest time we've spent apart in, in the coronavirus thing. Three, four months. I know, crazy. Oh, man. I, I look uh, back. I look back and I laugh because we were all excited that we were going to spend some quality time together because of conference season, which was totally unfortunately destroyed. destroyed. But yeah. here we are every day. Here we are twice Basically a day, every day, <laughs> <laughs> and and other things too. Uh, yes. Yeah. Did you want to talk about uh, the other thing that we're doing together? I do. Let me. Um. I'm going to even share my screen if I could. Do it. Um, I will do it. Let's see if I can do this without messing everything up. Um, but um, but um, here we go. Ready? Okay. So, um, so Kathy and I have been doing a lot of great like training with Bear Chance Learning. I don't know if you're familiar with Bear Chance Learning. They happen to be um, a great uh, education provider up there in Canada. Yeah. Um, they're you know a Microsoft provider, but also have such a, a wonderful um, mission in terms of you know, even in their title, fair chance learning that every every student should have a fair chance. Um, and they do a lot of PD for, for schools and, and such. And since we've been in this remote learning phase, they've started a, a, a series of Minecraft uh, and other other webinars too, but Minecraft Education Edition webinars. And Kathy and I so far have done, um, we're on our second round of a Getting Started series that was uh, a week in length, an hour a day. In fact, Mike's wife joined us last couple of weeks. Um, and then next week is our second week of Beyond the Basics. And their chance was smart enough to uh, reach out to the one and only Mike Washburn, um, as well as Barb Seaton, to offer a whole slew of additional offerings. So basically, there are a lot of introductory sessions. Um, Kathy and I are continuing with um, introductory and Beyond the Basics. There's curriculum content area stuff. We even have some community builds, um, you know, one on eco-friendliness, one on SEL, and even some cool stuff like open office hours where um, whether you're in one of these courses or not, it gives educators an opportunity to come in, ask questions, play around. And at the yeah. end of the whole season, after this will have been over a month of trainings and stuff, they're having a number of end of year celebration sessions. So. I can only imagine what kind of fun stuff we'll have in store for them. So super excited that Mike is um, on board now, as well as Barb Seaton, and uh, you know tons of opportunities. If you go to fairchancelearning slash dot com slash June Minecraft EE, I'll drop that in. That gets you to the landing page where they we can get we can get um, Sean. Sean can put that in the in the in the chat. Oh, awesome! Great, yeah, yeah. Sean. Thank you, Sean. So good stuff there. Um, and it's been fun. It's been so much fun. I got to say, the educators that we've been in, we've been having and continue to have um, are genuinely excited about Minecraft and about learning. And many of them, it's their first time finally saying, you know what, now I'm going to take the time to learn this. Um, and <laughs> they're going above and beyond, like outside of the sessions, they're continuing to build and share their builds on social media and stuff. It's been great, great fun. Um, so Mike, you have a lot to look forward to um as well once they all kick into gear yeah i'm pretty excited about all of this it's it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of work um mm. <laughs> i i'm doing uh i'm doing so so um i don't know if you guys you and kathy have been doing them but i'm doing pacific time hours as well um so yes. that's one of well, the things that i think people will find helpful is that um I'll be doing sessions from eight till ten p.m. Wow. Uh, Eastern time, um, so that people on the uh, whatever coast that is, the West Coast, um, can um, can join us during kind of a yeah. kind of a an an off an off work hour for them. Yeah. What um what Which what I Kathy and I really helpful. it's going to be great. So Kathy and I what we've been doing so far is eleven a.m. and five p.m. to try to hit both coasts at times that could work. And when we move forward, we're moving. It looks like everything's moving into two hour blocks. So yeah. even our like um getting started, which would be five one hour sessions, is now going to be two two hour sessions. Um, hours we're we're doing at four p.m. So it kind of works for both coasts. Mike, like he said, is doing, I think, what, 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. 
or something like that. And Barb is doing some. So we definitely have, I think, not only all of the East and West Coast covered, but I think Europe uh, and some other parts of the country can, can and other parts of the world will find convenient times as well. So yeah, hope you'll join us. And shouts, yes, thank you for um, for acknowledging what a cute couple we are. Um, we definitely have a bromance going. Uh, and Brad, good morning. And we're going back into Fortnite Creative today. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a pivot. I think we had originally intended to do some sort of a Rube Goldberg machine, but it seems that we're, we we ended up uh, doing something more closer to a, like an American Ninja Warrior uh, set up. So so that's that's what we'll we'll keep leaning yeah. into here. Um, and and, you know, Fortnite is a really interesting tool i think in education i i think that um it's conflicting because i mean and i guess minecraft was conflicting for people early on as well it was associated with gamers and gaming and uh -huh. you know when that's not necessarily um unfortunately uh, associated with education it becomes you know this this bad thing as opposed to what we see it as which is an opportunity to you know, reach students exactly where they are. Um, and instead of shoving, you know, um, textbooks in their face and worksheets, let's give them an opportunity to do really exciting work in a really exciting way. So yeah, and, and Fortnite's an interesting one, because Fortnite creative is complete, you know, is, is a, a very different animal than Fortnite just playing Battle Royale. So I think and kids are using Fortnite Creative in interesting ways, whether we're teaching it or not. But I think um, the one thing, you know, people hear Fortnite and they think, you know, the game and the battle royale mode. But Fortnite Creative, just like Minecraft, is quite a sandbox, team sandbox, sandbox mm -hmm. environment. And anything is possible. So it doesn't, you know, in no way do you have to feel like you're, um, you know, using you know weapons or 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 that it's a just a game it's another learning tool and that's kind of the way we're leveraging it and there are a bunch of great lesson plans that um hopefully we could share as well um a whole site that they're dedicating to secondary like middle through high school lesson plans that mike and i both contributed to and there's still a contest going on i think they extended it once again until september 30th so Take advantage. I mean, you could win up to twenty-five thousand dollars for submitting a lesson plan that kids and other educators are going to love. So, anyway, let's dive in. Um, I am in our island. Are you? I, I invited anybody... you. I invited you to a group, and and okay. Uh... See, I invited you to a group too. So okay. Let's well, say... why don't you? Why don't one of? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna invite to you that. back to my party. Yeah, do it. Okay. Now let's see if you accept. It says not ready. Now you're almost ready and i do not want to enable voice chat i'm in so let's see if it just brings you in i think so look at you you're flying in or is that me that's me that's you okay which is kind of funny because we have the um oh this is like a whole new uh another whole new lobby oh yes 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 it's funny how that keeps. oh there's no gra there's no the gravity is like way lower <laughs> <laughs> that, i noticed that right away you're like jumping way higher where in the in the, in the lobby oh okay oh yeah that's yeah, funny we, oh maybe that was something had... they added what i don't understand fully is we added the um player spawns which should be having us come right in but maybe that'll happen as we're working in it all right so where um, where are the rifts let's uh okay there are the rifts maybe i have to add i'm going to add two player pawns in case player spawns in case anything happened to them because, oh, right into it because Chat, oh. tell me that you saw that. I flew right into the rift. Oh, nice. Nice. I did not see it. But um, now let's see. So I want to... Okay, I want to go into creative here. Creative inventory is only available where you can build. That doesn't make any sense because I should be able to build. Oh, why, are, why am I viewing you? Are you in, are you in like game mode? I, I don't think so. I should be in creative mode, which is very odd right now. I'm going to end the game for a second. Yeah, it seemed to have put me in game mode but i don't know why <laughs> but i won and i'm happy about that congratulations thank you thank you so um, now, i should i should give people a heads up um about some production 
normally we wouldn't mention this, but if I disappear for a few minutes, <laughs> um, it's it's because I'm getting my air conditioner and a new air conditioner, a new AC unit installed today. And the guys haven't arrived yet, and they were supposed to arrive an hour ago, and they're not here. So now, now instead of arriving before the stream, they might arrive during the stream. Yes. So okay, finally I'm I back. Have, if, if I have to leave to say hi, then that's why. Okay, I got us covered. So I'm going to add a player spawn back, because I don't know what happened to it, but um, it's a good thing to review anyway. So I'm going to equip the player spawn, or so I think. Oh, that's so weird. I, some of the things have to be equipped with Y, and some go in your hotbar. Okay, so I'm going to place two player spawns for now because, or so I think. And it's funny. It's going away each time I use it. I don't like that either, but okay. So I'm going to, all right, so now at least when we quit the game, it'll um, bring us back out. Uh, it'll just drop us right back in without having to fly in, which is important when you're working on in creative mode. So coming over here, this is um, the uh, start of our American Ninja Warrior thing. Like we were inspired by this build that we were able to bring in where you can, and we, we put, put a baller in it, which you don't have to use, but what we were trying to do, oops, why am I doing that? How do you copy an object, like a multiple objects in what's again? Do you hold down um, shift? I think it was shift, but let's see. So if you have your, you have you have to have your camera open. So for, uh, not your camera, your phone. So you hit the yeah. tilde for that. And then, then as you start, um, copy something. And then I think it is, is it shift or is it alt? Um, nope. Let's see. I'm going to go back out here and figure that out for you. So I have, I'm going to. This whole, this whole tower needs to be moved. Okay, and we did it before, no problem. So let's just figure that out again. Um, I just deleted it. That's X. Okay, so I don't want to do that. That copied it. That's, whoa, look at that. So the other day we couldn't do this, I don't think. Look, I just placed this suspended in air, which I kind of want. Some weird things are happening that weren't happening the other day. I wonder if it's... um. If there's was an update, because see what I'm doing. Maybe like, they were watching us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this, this I like because one of the things I want to put in our Ninja Warrior thing is something like this, where you have to grapple from uh, platform to platform uh, instead of you yeah. know what I mean. Oh yeah. So okay, so where, 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 where are those? That's in inventory well, devices. No, you know what I did. Which the thing I have the, the grappling gun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the grappling gun, but also I believe I believe by default, at least it used to the. Um, let's see if it still does. The baller used to by default have a grappling hook. Yeah, I think it does. Oh, it does. So you can like ball around and then and grapple. So right. Let's see if this works. Ready? Well, I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna see that. Yeah. We almost need something to like hook on to. Well, that's the idea of like the here. What I want to do is have these platforms at the bottom or something like where you grapple on and then and then have to. Oops, I'm missing everything. Yeah, see, see how I'm grappling right now? Uh, and, and, I, and then I jump on to the next one. Yeah. So that's what I want to accomplish. So let's see if I could grapple all the way onto that up there. Probably not. Oh, yeah, I can. Check that out. So now I want to grapple on that also. See what I just did, Mike? Yeah, I see you coming. Okay, that, that's the goal. Oh, me. hello. <laughs> uh, whoop. So I am a big fan of the grappling hook as part of a game mechanic in here. Yeah. Because, it, and it's really quirky and not, I mean, it just takes a little, I'm sure that the, the, the cool kids can do it a lot better than me. Obi-Wan could probably do this, no problem. Let's see, I'm gonna... Okay, so that's my next goal for this. Uh, but back to what you were talking about, you wanted to multiple copy, right? Let's figure that out, because that was working out really well the other day. Um, so I click, whoop, I, want the, I need the phone. I click, but now it's doing weird stuff. I don't like that. Okay, so... Let's see. 
aim it aim at a, a, a slot to copy it, but that's not exactly what I want. We really want to select it. Oh, that's what it is. It's R. So see what I'm doing? I'm hitting R multiple times. I see. And that's how you do that. Okay, that's thank goodness because I knew it was cool when I did it. And look how fast you could do it. So you could grab the whole tower pretty quickly, and then move it. Okay, you get it. We're making progress, Mike. We're making progress. Yeah. Now, now, now how do I how do I move it? Um, you then copy the whole thing by left clicking, I believe. Oh. See it? You got it. Okay. And you either copied it or left right click would have cut it, I think. So now we have an extra one. Oh, never and then and things. then to to zoom things out. I lost um, my um I lost my controls on the right hand side of the screen. Like uh, your, where it showed your like your hints. I, I don't you mean like Z X C those? Shoot, I just did something. Oh, you mean on the left side of the screen. They're on the left for me anyway. But yeah, the, the left. The 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 um the weird thing is, and we noticed this the other day. Try as we might, um, that the it seems hard to copy. It does not want to let us copy um, devices. So like, we can copy all the building Jeez. parts, but we can't copy the the bounce pad. So I am going to do what I started doing over there, but I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to make a, what I think is going to be this next part of the, I love that I can move these platforms and just place them in the air. That's very, makes me very happy. So this was where we, okay. So what I think is going to happen is we're going to jump, 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 jump. Then we're going to get on a ball or maybe right here-ish. Oh, look at that. So I added it as a slot in item one. Oh, the whole thing? Now we're talking. So what did you do? Let's see. So you, how did you do that? Because I was trying that the other day. But once it was copied. Yeah. Once it was copied, like I can delete this now. Like I can totally just go blah, 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 yeah. blah, boom, 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 boom. And it's gone. But I have a full version of it. Yeah. Now, how do you. My, in my hot bar. Did you did you drag it to your hotbar or did you press one? No, I pressed I pressed one and it and it was added to my hotbar. Did yeah, you have to hold press kind of? No. Nope. Oh, now the other thing that's a little weird that I know there's got to be a way. Like, how do you sn oh grid snap off? So, but that seems like grids. Okay. See, I wanted to snap these on. I wonder if this will work now. Let me try this. So now we have these. I have this tower. Yes. That I can use anywhere at any time I want. Copied from the prefabs. Yeah. Is as the as you the mean, little kids say. Yeah. Be rad. I need to remember how to back back things up out of my so they're I'm not placing them right in front of my face. Yeah, I'm also wondering a little bit how I can't remember to... how to do that. Settings. I'm also wondering a little bit how to um uh didn't mean to do that. So I want to cut that. So here's the other thing. Like how do I seamlessly like can I should I be able to snap this on pretty easily like to an existing like that's what I want to do. Like I don't know if you see where I am. But I want to bring this, and I really just want to have it connect right to this. Um, yeah, I couldn't get that to happen over here. I I snapped. Yeah, I changed the snap level to like a certain level, and then and then. Um, okay, so let's. Yeah, see. let me let me copy that. Let's see if I can do it this way. Seems like you is that you or me? You just placed one, right? Yeah, but it's not but, like right up against it. Which is, I mean, it's kind of okay, but it seems like it should be easy to just um, do that, right? Like to let me see what happens if I do this. R, oh, there. What? Right there. Did that do it? What did it? You made it overlap ever slightly. Is that what it looked like? Try it again, or I'll try it. All right, you're on your own for a few minutes. Okay, see you later. I'm gonna bring you to full screen all right friends all right so now let's see what mike was talking about so maybe i need the grid on for this and i'm gonna grid it up 
it says it's right. I have the grid on, but let's see. So now I want to have this. I really want this to just place on there like he seemed to have done, but doesn't seem to want to. I mean, that's close. Actually, well, it kind of works, but I feel like there should be an easy way to just plain, like, like in other words, let's say I want to, well, let's try this for a second. Now, see, I can place a million, but they don't quite do what I think I wanted them to do. All right, so we got to figure that out at some point. Um, oh, look, Mike's still suspended in the air. Okay, so let's try to, regardless, we're going to copy that. We're going to, I really actually don't want to place it. Like, well, yeah, I want to place, oh gosh, I just cut it. Boom. Now, I want one of them to be on there, and then we're going to put a baller here for a grappling part of the project. Okay. So now I'm going to try, see if I can put the baller on here. If I go to the inventory, devices, Baller, boom. I have returned. Oh, I see. So I can put multiple of these. So that's good. Hello. Welcome back. So now I'm going to go to Y and place this. Oh, okay. no. What happened? <laughs> you just blew up our platform. <laughs> I did? How? I don't know, man, but it's well, gone. I All I did was started to add this baller here. That's crazy. I don't know. I guess it could have been me, but I don't. I didn't really touch anything. I didn't think oh, I did Oh, boy. Either. All right, well, and why won't it let me place this here anyway? Was that a prefab, or you, like, built that from scratch? No, it was a prefab, but I <laughs> took some work to place it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, I will do something. Now, this is weird, too, because I'm trying to place this. And it's being weird too. Yeah. There must be something about this that I'm missing in terms of. Let's see. I want to place it. Oh, there we go. In theory, but it's not placing. That's so weird. Maybe I have to place it on the ground, but look at that. Like it, it shows blue, which makes me think I should be able to place it, right? All right, what am I doing wrong, Mike? Oh, buddy. Um, like oh, I hit Y. Look at that. It's I, blue, I, which means I should be able to place it there. I don't know how I just leveled up in the middle of a creative game, but, you know, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, I wasn't even doing anything. And they, I got V-Bucks. They did. Nice. See, that's weird. So I can place a, I clearly can place the baller at the bottom, but it didn't seem like it wanted me to do it at the top. So let's see what happens if I now go with, um, you know what, you know what we should do sometime is, uh, is is get Mark Rain to see if he would come and play Fortnite with That him. would be great. <laughs> Imagine that. I could. I have something really weird happening right now. Like, I think there's something going on with my controls. Because, like, I'm hitting C, which should be the stairs. And I'm not getting stairs. I'm getting the V. It would be great if they had a toggle for snap on and snap off, like music editing I, software for yeah. building elements. I totally so, agree. Put that in the so feature requests. There is like a, a grid snap feature. Like so in in the settings. No, not in settings. In why well, I, I put on the grid to like thirty two or sixty four, but it still didn't seem yeah. to lock. So let's find out how to lock it. Now. Keyboard. 
This is all weird. Controls. Okay. So now I was trying to use the C for the. Oh, oh, well, it's changing. Mm. That's so weird. Okay, let's get rid of that for a second. Let's go to here. Okay, where did I put my baller? Down here. All right, let's try this. Oh, now it's working. those in the air, but I can put those other things. So I'm going to grab one of those again. Oh, so close. Definitely need a tower right here. Um, that, that. Uh, is it in the air? It's not in the air. It's not straight, though, which would obviously drive me crazy. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to try this for a second just as a little prototype test. Okay, so here's what I think I want to do. Why can't it be straight, Steve? I don't, that's what I think. I, that's probably an us thing. Like, there's probably a way that as we get... You know, it's all that finesse that the kids have that we don't always have right away, and then we hopefully get those but kids. When, those kids, kids these days. That's why we need um, that dude. I wonder if he's watching today. Um, my buddy Steno to come in and help us out. Let's see. All right, ready? Now I'm gonna try this. I think I need to snap it to this and then move it over. All right. So now, if I can make something where if I fall, I die, I could just put traps all along here. So if I fall, I die. But watch this. So I've got my little prototype going. Uh huh. I'm in my baller. Yeah. But what you, oh, that's the baller thing. Okay. I'm going to go up here. Yeah. I'm going to now use my grappling hook and let go and then use it again and then let go. And then use it again. And then I would have to get here, let's say, without you'd falling on all the traps. To a different, you'd have to get to a different place, yeah. Yeah, so now what I need is kind of like traps on the bottom and see how that plays out. You know what I mean? Like like lava, so to speak. I need the Fortnite version of lava. So I know there are traps. So let's use those for a minute. So poison dart trap, damage trap sounds about right. Right. Oh, so I can yeah. equip a bunch of them. Okay. So now let's see if this does what I want it to do. Okay, gotta get out of here for this. Oh no! There we go. Oh, it worked. I think by accident. I'm doing so many weird things here. Thank God for the X key. I need a, I need copy. Bounce pad. Is that the bounce pad? We had problems with this too. Well, the bounce pad, remember, was hard to place on those diagonals sometimes. I, I actually think it's an issue with the, the, the copier, too. Like, the co like when I just put it into my hotbar, it copied the, um, the, the platform it's on, not the bounce pad itself. It's so strange. Yeah, but well, if I, I, go, think, but I if I go to devices... I don't think you could copy the bounce pad. I don't think you... Maybe you can't copy a device. In fact, let me try here with the, um, with this... See, look, like, right, so I have, I want to copy, I, yeah, I can't copy a device. It's weird. 
I can copy. Got yeah, it. I cannot, but I, which is, well, feature request. <laughs> if you're watching. So if I go to F5, yeah, see, now I got it. And then I just need to be able to. Yeah, like, why does it have a problem? Just go to your home. <laughs> why do you have a problem with your home? And I'm sure, like, you know, again, kids watch what I could do. No, nope, I can't. See, it's funny. And then it wants to place these upright, which I clearly don't want. I don't think. All right. That's, but that's a me problem. Okay. We, um, folks, we, we, we sell Fortnite as an educational tool in, in, in strange ways. We, we really do love it. We do love it. And we, we just want to see all the possibilities for problem solving that come with it. <laughs> I, I think we just need to be like leading the educational development team is what we actually need to do. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, yeah, or, or like I say, we need more kids to help us figure this all out. Um, so here we go. I'm coming back in. I'm going to go in the. Oh, ball. no. Okay. Here, I'm going to try it, Mike. Ready? Then I'm practicing our bounce pads. Okay. So I'm trying my. Now, if I. Uh oh, please die. Okay, so apparently, maybe I have to hit play to work that. Let's see. I'm going to play for a second. You okay with that? Yeah, go ahead. I hope I win. Yeah, we started in like completely different places. Oh, I'm going to get it. No, race yet. So, our American Ninja Warrior, when we really get moving on it, right now we're just practicing and prototyping. When we really get on it, maybe we'll have to create something and then totally duplicate it or however we would do that and have two of them so people could race or maybe just have the clock. Oh, right. oh, see, that's what I wanted. Okay. That kicked your ass. But that that's what I was hoping. <laughs> that's what we wanted. Now I spawn back here. I run back to it. Oh, man. Yeah, that didn't go well for you at all. I, I would like to point out that I was making sure that that works now <laughs> this time this time i'm trying for real okay 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 this time you can make fun of me if i don't make it yeah ready? okay there we go oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> now you can make fun of me oh oh you know what why am i not dying help oh now i die that was weird <laughs> so i could have maybe all right i'm gonna try save myself go for it all right so we're we're trying to go from one platform to the next one, yeah? Yep, there you go. Oh, oh, oh you almost died. You even tripped it. Get that last one. Whoa. All right, you kind of did it. You must be better at video games than me. Oh, you're going to die after all. No, you're not. I'm not going to die. Well, think of all the cool stuff you can do like that. See how you're twirling in the air? Like, oh, if we made things where you had to... Uh, I want you to die. There we go. But from a... So prototype-wise, we have a little idea here that'll work, right? Back where I started, man. Nice. Dun, da, da, da. All right, that's, this is why we need two of these, so I can play two. Oh, here we go. I get it. All right, my turn. And we could use prefabs in this to make it look cooler, right? And all. Oh, 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 oh. Where'd you go? Oh, I lost you for a second there. I almost died. You got you got nervous and like Yeah, I, I'm getting nervous because the audience, the world is watching me. Oh, there we go. Oh, you triggered it too. Oh. Nice. Right. Good job. Well, I mean you survived. Yeah, it wasn't pretty, but I survived. Oh, and then I got back on there. Okay, good. All right. So cool. something that's right? fun. That's fun. Yeah. American Ninja Warrior didn't have spiky doesn't have spiky death traps. Probably not. Um I'm pretty sure you don't have a baller to go in either. 
I don't wonder how many people would participate in American Ninja Warrior if they thought they knew they would be um, eviscerated. <laughs> oh! Well, it's an analogy. Is it? <laughs> Is it, though? I'm getting oh. so much better. Oh, go! It's funny how with the... There we go. And he gets up there and poof. All right. We've done it. All right. So now. Uh oh. Now I'm in the water. I like it. Cool. Oh, now I have to, I'm going to quit oh. game. Let's see if I won. Oop. A draw. We tied. So that does remind me, Mike, we really need to. Oops. I just thought I did that way. We need to really learn things too, like the scoring mechanisms and how to have one of us actually win the game, because that would be a goal somewhere in this whole thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I just also noticed that you can, like, you can hit the ball, right? Yeah. So if we, for example, set up. That's what most of my kids do with the Rube Goldbergs is they hit it. So it does the whole thing automated. So if I if I set up so the ball's there, and then oh, <laughs> the ball is was there, and then I add uh, I bounce pads. I think we could create a soccer game too. Then, oh, a soccer game would be fun. So we need to learn the things like again, like if we put something in a goal that gives you a point, that's what we need. That's got to be one of our other things. We, we're going to be doing this a bit, I believe. Can you put a bounce pad um, on its edge? Um, I believe so. Let's try. So if I do that, and then what? Do, how do I? And then you what do I definitely, do to it? You definitely could put a stupid um, trap on its edge because I was doing that all the time, completely by accident. Right. If I do a wall, so let's see. Yeah, I think, uh, no, no, no. So why, if you hit Y, I do a y, a can wall. you rotate it at that point? Are you able to get it on its side? Because it's funny. Like, the bounce, you should be able to, because what do you have to do to make that happen, though? Maybe you have to put a wall first, actually. So I'm going to put a Z here, okay? And then I'm going to put a bounce pad on my Z. Oh, T, equip wall trap. No, see what I did, though? Mike, as long as I had something to place it on, I just made it um, on boom. Oh, you know what's also we could do that would be cool? Is we could create almost like a, a sort of foosball-like experience where you hit the ball into the bounce pads and are ultimately trying to get it into where the Where is the ball? We need to destroy the ball. Um, we could put more balls in. Let's okay. do that. I just, I just lined one up with the actual spawn for the ball. Okay, but I'm going to put another baller in. Okay. So, like, let's say we put it here, right? And we start to hit the ball. And then, oh, no, Mike's going to get it. Oh, I'm going to get it. I hit All it right. way too far. Is there a way to hit it less far? I guess we could have borders in our indoor soccer arena. We could end up making, we recreating Rocket League also. You know? <laughs> and actually... We could do that where you're in the baller and, and controlling it. Wouldn't that be cool? Because you could use any vehicle you want, but wouldn't a baller be a cool vehicle to be playing Rocket League in? Now, the problem is when you come, hit the come ball. Over, come, over to, come over to me. I, check out this. This is what you? It's right here. Okay, let's see. I got you. Okay. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Came right back to me. So now, but now we need a goal that, oof, that somehow. If the ball hits the goal, we could do so much cool stuff like with this idea of like, so gosh, so many ideas, so little time. Um, so we're going to be, we're still going to stay with this Ninja Warrior idea. We might also get into our Rocket League idea because I think the Rocket League thing could be super building, cool. Building a Rocket League arena in Fortnite. Let's do creative, it. And, yeah. then, and, then, and then having the ball. With bounty, with like random bounty pads, it could yeah. be like the, the boss level for. Oh, and you know what? Maybe the goal becomes oh, to get man. in. So, in other words, here's a little twist. 
The goal is to get yourself in the goal, but the other person could try to, you know, kind of bump you out of the way. I wonder if that would all work as a mechanic. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to get into the ball, but there's all sorts of stuff happening and you're trying to obviously either get into your goal or not let me get into my goal. Hmm. Or we hit it with our with our um, axe into so, the goal. And you can like I can like aim it pretty well maybe, too. Maybe, that's like, better. maybe the idea is well see so they're two different games, right? One is more like real soccer where we're trying to get it in there without it dying on a trap. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try to all responds to the hitting really well. Oh yeah. That's a ton of fun. You might be onto something here, folks. Um, funny. funny. See, I, I like the ball for the... Um, I really like the grappling hook idea. Like, I think there's so much good game in that. Oh, the funny thing is, the ball takes some damage. I wonder at which point the ball will die. Oh, let's... Uh... Let's, oh yeah, 110 minus 20. And is there a way to automatically have a ball respawn? Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah. once it's destroyed. It does, it does respawn automatically. Yes. It does respawn, yeah. Absolutely. So Absolutely. that's actually a neat mechanic. Yeah. If you were to build a, if you were to build an arena, for example, mm -hmm. um, F2, and then... Um, Yeah, like if you were to build an arena and had a ball spawn in the middle, and it's like part of the the challenge of this is that you need to get the ball into the into the goal before mm -hmm. you destroy the ball. Well, yes, or if you don't, then ah, rats, I gotta just try again. Yeah, it respawns basically. Yeah. But the other option again is that we have each player is in a ball and the player is, you know, kind of controlling or, or I wonder how that would work. I'm trying to think of the best way, like, especially if you wanted to have it be like a 3v3 game, like, could you have some other object that you had to get into the goal? Because the ball is a perfect one. But in other words, if we're all players and we're in the ball, then it becomes weird, like, almost like capture the flag, like you're really trying to get into the other goal before the people make sure you don't get into the other ball. So the other thing is, are there ways to destroy the ball? Like some of my students did something once, which was kind of cool. Like they created an arena type thing and you were playing in the arena and there was some, some I forget what the goal in the arena was, but they had people on the up top of the arena that could shoot at the players. So there was this other part where it was like, you know, you had to also preserve self-preserve for a center point to this do i need to go one over I need to go i need to go one more wide and i need to go one more okay as you know it's got to be symmetrical steve yes yes of course all right, so let's see what we're going to do here. Um, Any thoughts in the chat on, on on what we should do here? I think we got a lot of good ideas. I, I kind of like Steve's idea. I kind of like my idea. I kinda, they're similar but different. Maybe we do both of them. Okay, so... That makes this the center. Let's see. And this is where the ball spawner goes. Where are you now? I gotta find you. you I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of over to the side a bit. So, and then a ball. So it's a device, right? Uh, the baller, yeah. Yeah, the baller. So, so now, interestingly, uh, whenever you have the the devices, you equip like you would the materials that you would build like a stair with and the other things you put in your hot bar quite honestly i wish you could put devices in your hot bar as well yeah 
So what is this? Is this um, just a just a regular old thing, oh, platformy thing? Okay. Actually, not symmetrical. But I mean, should we add some of the? Um... But we need uh, bounce pads, maybe. Yeah. Now, and do you want them flat? Them. So it'll flat you like. I guess we can have a combination of flat ones and not flat ones, right? Sure. I was gonna put some on the walls once okay. I built the walls. Okay. So you want me to start building walls, or are you not ready yet? Like you're going further. Just making sure that it's even on all sides. Is which, it a square? Oh, what did I do? I built it in wood, Steve. So is that a problem? So dumb. Yeah. Gotta change them. What do you want to use? Some. Um... I was building. Oh no no no! Just that one, you mean? Okay. Yeah, just these, this one. What right. are these? Like these are some sort of metal-y thing. Metal, yeah. But you're using your regular materials, yeah. So if I hit F two and then I, ch uh, what do I do to change the materials again? Um, that's always that eludes me. Um, uh, uh, right click. There we go. Really? Oh, but you have to be holding it, I guess. So I'm. What do you, I'm going to do? Z. Okay, brick is it, or it's the irony stuff? The irony. It's the stuff. metal, yeah. So should I start building around? Yeah, let's build a whole wall all the way around it. F one. And these are see these materials snap nicely. Like why yeah. wouldn't the others? These are how you stop people from shooting you, Steve. Yeah, why? Well, you, you don't really stop them. They still shoot you, but you they uh, <laughs> they have a little bit of a harder time. It takes more it's shooting. It's amazing. It's amazing how fast people can put walls up. Yeah, I know, and I'm so not good at that part. Like it's like I feel like I have to think of a whole other thing while we're playing. That part is bad for me. Did you? I'm very quick, Steve. I know. I was. I got a little behind. Oh shoot. See, I keep, oh, man. Kids, Steve, the kids can build. Yep. All right, and then. For here. Maybe we hex this one out. F two, build a floor. F one. Is that the goal? A goal. Yeah. We just need programming in Fortnite for fireworks. Uh, probably could do something. You know what I mean? Well, I I'm just, I would be just happy if we got the scoring working because there are score things. So I think what you would do is you'd have it that when it hits the goal, it does some kind of score. The uh, the system that they use, though, I'll admit, for like wall placement, um, um, you know, was was definitely copied from something like uh, well, Satisfactory definitely copied it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's beautiful when when you have the things that will snap, like these walls are. How great is that for building? But that thing we were struggling with before, we got to figure out. F one. I'll put a all right there. All right. Well, damn. We have an arena. <laughs> now it's a little small. We'll probably make it bigger later, but for now it's a prototype. I like using that word because then we can do whatever we want and not feel like we're doing <laughs> anything. Right. All right. So let's see. So you're saying now, should the goal actually be higher? Like, in other words, right now I have it set up. So you, I think we want the goal to be actually the goal should probably be a little wider too. But we'll start. Uh, with, look what oh, I you, did. You, <laughs> you <blistered laughs> <power. laughs> 
I pulled a Steve. Oh! <laughs> I'll help you. Because I'm nice like that. Building random stuff in the middle of places for no reason. <laughs> a Steve. Oh, that reminds me. Are we playing um, Dungeons this afternoon or Hardcore? Cores! So now we need a goal mechanism in there. And we need a scoring scoreboard, which we can do. We just have to, that might be tomorrow. Or is tomorrow this? It is, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. And, all, sure. and probably all of next week now. And a lot of next week, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to keep going. This is good stuff. All right. Bounce pads. Uh, okay, so you work on scoring and... Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right the hard thing there's the scoreboard in the time I, right I know and i've tried to use it and i just that's good this is a good i need i need a task that's going to be a challenge so oh, there's would, a there's a trigger uh there's a score manager yeah, there's a exactly. random money generator. So the, the trigger oh score manager see the but the funny thing is like i would love it if it gave you more information it just says scoreboard and it's a trap and then this other one says score manager. It doesn't tell you what the heck it does. Um, but I'm going to equip this scoreboard for starters. Okay? Because that's what I do. And I'm going to go Y, and I'm going to see where I could put this scoreboard. So the scoreboard, can it be in the sky-ish? Maybe we should do Minecraft Dungeons so we can get Shreffler to play with this. Oh, let's do that. Is he up for it? That would be fun. I'm done with it. That would be I, oh, by the way, like I've unlocked all of the secrets now. Oh my! Of course you have. I have all of the secret dungeons unlocked. So why did like the, the Moo level? See now, what I don't get is I cannot place this. Shouldn't I be able to place this flat up? Here? And oh, here we go. I don't know why it's letting me do it here, but I'll do it for a minute because I want to put the scoreboard on here just as a test. If it'll work. There we go. All right. So I have a scoreboard, Mike. I don't know what that means, but I have it. So now here's what we need to have happen. I bet I could customize it so that when I'm going to try the trigger, I'll be so happy if this works, but I'm not convinced that it will. All right, I'm going to put a trigger. I think it's just the trigger in here, but it might not be that simple. Um, so there's a perception trigger. Oh. There's an actual trigger. Okay, so we're going to put a trigger here. And did it do it? No, it didn't. I'm going to put a number one trigger, number one, here. Okay, I got a trigger there for what it's worth. I don't know exactly if that's going to do what I want it to do. Okay, now I'm going to put a trigger here. And I'm going to customize. No, that was not where I wanted that. It's funny. How do I remove? I know. Um. Hey, I just before we leave, I know Ben Kelly's watching. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I'm going to give Ben Kelly some credit. I saw a video that uh, I, he'll know what I'm talking about. It's not public yet, but I saw a video that he made in collaboration with some mutual friends that is absolutely killer. Oh yeah. So, oh, you're going to see it in a, in a few days maybe. Oh my. It's it the, the he made a Minecraft world that is just absolutely amazing. Wow, I'm not the least bit surprised. Oh, and Ben, if you're watching too, impressed. be prepared. There's uh we have another contest coming up competition big competition called the minecraft masters that's going to culminate in a four teams oh, that. advancing to these to the masters and then competing in a number of things so it's going to be pretty epic um but it's not epic let's see so, so this is like completely functional like in the sense that like it's it works really really well yeah um the ball lasts a decent amount of time like i mean it breaks but like you can even I bounced the ball there a minute ago off the wall and it was going into the net. If you hadn't have been standing there, it would have went in. Well, it pushed me in, in fact. Yeah, um, so it that's was one. So I want to figure cool. this out. This is what I want to figure out. So if I could make red. Oh, see, that's what I don't understand is. All right, let's see. 
See, I don't know how to, how do I now, oops. How do I mess around with this scoreboard? Okay, let's try. See, I can't even get to the, how do I, let's see. I'll put this one there. I'm going to X this one. Oh, that's interesting. Wait. Um, oh, that's how it works. This doesn't make any sense to me, though. Like, when I hit the scoreboard thing, see, I'm activating the score. Oh, I see what that does, but I don't know how I control it. I mean, that's my next challenge, I guess. See, it's like the things I think I want it to do, like I expect it to just know what I want, and it doesn't. See, the scoreboard thing, if I hit this red one, it activates that, but I don't know how to make it tr connected to the... Let's see if this is a thing. See, now I can customize this trigger. What do they want it to do? <laughs> the uh, the mechanic uh, for using the gliders is kind of neat too. Like you could you could do it where you you know you hop on one of these and then you you you, you hit your glider to glide closer to the ball. Some really really neat strategy. Oh look at that! That's what I'm talking about. Oh shoot! So I'm gonna do a quick search for how the um, using. Score. Well, listen, we, we've got it. We've got oh, to go. God, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, this will be what we uh, work on. I think we've got a really cool thing here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a lot of fun. This looks, yes. this looks so good. And the ball's going crazy now because I set up the uh, <laughs> bounce pads on the floor now, too. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, so this is going to be our first thing, and then we'll also probably continue with our Ninja Warrior idea because that has a lot of merit. Yeah, that's right. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Be sure to join us later this afternoon where we will probably play Minecraft Dungeons. And then tomorrow we will uh, keep rocking on this. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you yes, soon. Yes, see you at 3. Bye-bye.